Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're jumping back to the Call of Duty mobile public test server for Season 6. And today I did mention on one of my previous videos that I was going to be using the Feral in another video and I'm going to experiment, experiment a little bit with more of the attachments to find a really good setup with it. And I've got it today, I've got the suppressor, a long barrel and an FMJ on this weapon. No sights, does its normal bog standard iron sights. And I feel like this is my go to setup for this weapon. But obviously, it could change in the future. Maybe I'll find a better one, but for the time being, I feel like this, like this, like this bit. Oh, I can't even get my words out today. I feel like this sort of setup for my weapon is what I need right now. You know what I mean? The suppressor keeps me off the minimap. The long barrel really helps when it comes to them medium to long range engagements. And the FMJ just gives my gun a little bit more of a power boost. So I find that it really, really does help. Plus it helps me to shoot for certain surfaces as well, which is always good. So if the enemy's trying to, you know, camp a little bit by the corners, if it's a surface I can shoot through, you know I'm going to be taking them down. Obviously in the future as well, when, the, when this... Um, when I get this weapon on the uh, in the future of the, of the global test server and stuff, I will try to do like a road to nuke series with this weapon. But for the time being, I'm happy just being able to just experience it and be able to use it on this PTS right now. I'm sorry about this, guys. If I keep stuttering a little bit, it's just because I'm trying to concentrate and focus. But other than that. This weapon's pretty good. Obviously, I'm not a big fan of the weapon because the fact is, I find that it's, it's you know, it's it's a little jumpy. It needs, it needs a little bit more love. I feel like, you know, they could do a little bit more of a buff to this weapon, personally. Because it is a little underpowered compared to other weapons in the game. But, if you know how to use it, then you can try and use it to your advantage when it comes to, like, destroying your opponents. But I do know the Pharaoh has been in the game for some quite some time now, but obviously it was only through a buyable method. There was no earnable like version of the uh, Pharaoh for plays to be able to get access to. But in season six, guys, there is going to be a way where you can earn a free variant of the Pharaoh, if of course everything that's been shown within the PTS server is correct, which I'm pretty sure it is. Then there should be an event on within the game where you're going to be able to earn a standard basic variant of the Locust and the Pharaoh. So if you haven't got them weapons in your inventory, then you're gonna be able to earn a variant of them in the future, which is always a great thing. I'd say I've got a variant of the locust anyway through ranks from a previous season, but I'm happy that I'm gonna be able to, you know, be able to grind towards a Pharaoh in the future. And who knows, obviously there will be bundles and you know special crates where you're gonna be able to probably earn like a version of it through paid money. Um, but other than that though guys, as it is I'm happy with that. Obviously through the rank system for season 6, there's obviously been data mine files suggesting that there's going to be the KRM, which is also another weapon I really want to get my hands on. Because a lot of people say it's really, really, really powerful within Call of Duty Mobile, but we'll soon see in the future, eh? But anyways, that is the Pharaoh. That's my little setup on the weapon. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know if you're going to be trying this sort of setup when you use the Pharaoh. Like I said, long barrel, FMJ, and obviously a suppressor. I feel it to myself in like how I play within Call of Duty Mobile really does help me as a player. But I will do a little bit more experimenting with it when obviously it hits the global vert like servers and stuff in the future when it becomes a weapon for us all to be able to obtain. And once I've got an even better class for this weapon, or if it does get like a buff or anything then you know I'm going to go for a nuke with it, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Stay safe, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care.